हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑन काउंटिंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सटेंडेड वर्जन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट रूल सो वी हैव डिस्कस प्रोडक्ट रूल इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी रिकॉल फर्स्ट दैट प्रोडक्ट रूल सो सपोज वी हैव सम टास्क व्हिच कैन बी डन इन टू टू सब्सिक्वेंट टास्क से टी एंड टी सपोज वी हैव सम टास्क टी विच कैन बी broken down into two tasks denoted by t1 and t2 and uh, first uh, we perform task t1 and after the task t1 is performed uh, we consider task t2 and uh, we know that suppose there are n1 ways to do the task t1 and n2 ways to perform the task t2 after the task t1 has been performed then there are n1 into n2 ways to perform the given task t which we have broken down into two different tasks so this is the product rule which we have discussed in lecture number 1 now this we can generalize for n number of tasks also so suppose our procedure which we want to carry it out can be performed into n number of tasks suppose to complete the procedure the number of task required are say t1 t2 t3 up to tn that is finite number of tasks and suppose task t1 can be done in n1 ways task t2 can be done in n2 ways after the task t1 has been done task t3 can be done in n3 ways after task t1 and t2 are done and in general task tn can be done here instead of n we should use another suffix suppose we use m so that we can write that task tm can be done in n suffix m ways after task t1 t2 up to tm minus 1 have been done task tm can be done in n suffix m ways after the task t1 t2 up to tm minus 1 have been performed then the number of ways of performing this task t is nothing but product of all these numbers n1 n2 n3 and so on up to nm so this is simply generalization of product rule which we have discussed for two different tasks instead of two task we have more than two tasks then also we can apply product rule so first we have written this extended version of product rule suppose that a procedure is carried out by performing the task t1 t2 up to tm in a sequence that is first we perform task t1 after performing task t1 we consider task t2 then we consider task t3 after t1 and t2 are done and in general we consider m task t1 t2 up to tm in a sequence now suppose if ith task that is task ti can be done in n i ways that is t1 can be done in n1 ways t2 can be done in n2 ways and so on suppose ith task can be done in n i ways after the task t1 t2 up to ti minus 1 have been performed if task ti can be done in n i ways after task t1 t2 up to ti minus 1 these are the tasks which must be performed before performing this task ti so again i repeat if task ti can be done in ni ways after task t1 t2 up to ti minus 1 have been done then there are n1 n2 up to nm ways to carry out the procedure the procedure was divided into m task t1 t2 t3 somewhere here ti minus 1 ti and so on tm t1 can be done in n1 ways t2 can be done in n2 ways t3 can be done in n3 ways t4 
कि i माइनस वन कैन बी डन इन एन सफिक्स i माइनस वन वेज टी आई कैन बी डन इन एन आई वेज एंड टी एम कैन बी डन इन एन एम वेज देन देर आर एन वन इंटू एन टू इंटू एन थ्री अप टू एन एम वेज टू कैरी आउट द प्रोसीजर सो टू एप्लाय दिस प्रोडक्ट रूल वी मस्ट हैव ए प्रोसीजर विच कैन बी डन इन ए सब्सिक्वेंट टास्क दैट इज फर्स्ट वी परफॉर्म टी वन आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग टी वन वी कंसिडर टी टू आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग टी वन एंड टी टू वी परफॉर्म टी थ्री एंड सो वन एंड ऑल दीज टास्क आर नेसेसरी टू कैरी आउट द प्रोसीजर सो इन दोज टाइप ऑफ सीच्युएशन वी विल एप्लाय दिस एक्सटेंडेड वर्जन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट रूल सो वी कंसिडर वन एग्जाम्पल रिलेटेड टू दिस एक्सटेंडेड वर्जन एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन हाउ मेनी बीट स्ट्रिंग्स आर देर ऑफ लेंथ सेवन सो हियर वी आर आज टू फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट बीट स्ट्रिंग्स दैट कैन बी मेड ऑफ लेंथ सेवन सो हियर फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड वी आर आज टू परफॉर्म द डिफरेंट टास्क इन सच अ वे दैट वी हैव टू मेक ए बीट स्ट्रिंग whose length is 7 first we consider what is uh, our aim we want to make a bit string of length 7 and we have to find out different possibilities or different bit strings of length 7 how many bit strings of length 7 can be made so first we understand what is meaning of uh, bit so bit can take only two possible values 0 and 1 and the string is made up of different bits here we have to make a string of length 7 so we must have seven bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so suppose this is a string of length 7 and uh, Uh, we have to choose zero or one for each bit suppose we want to make a string of length 7 then we have to assign either zero or one value to each bit so this task the task is to make a bit string of length 7 so this task we can divide into seven different task t1 t2 up to T seven. So task T one is assigning a value to first bit. So suppose we consider this first bit. So we have to choose this first bit, and that we consider as task T one. So now, what are the number of ways of doing task T one? So task T one is choosing the value zero or one for first bit. so there are two possibilities for first bit first bit can be 0 or it can be 1 so that means task t1 can be done in two ways okay we can select first bit as 0 or 1 so there are two ways of selecting first bit now after selecting value for first bit we go for second task which is again same as the first task first task is to choose the value for first bit second task is to choose the value for second bit and that value is also having two possibilities second bit can also take either 0 or 1 so there are two possible values for second bit also so task t2 can be done in two ways task t3 is choosing a third bit so again there are two possible values for third bit also so we can see for each bit there are two possible values and if we consider in this way task t1 is choosing a first bit then task t1 can be done in two ways if task t2 is choosing a second bit then it can be done in two ways task t3 is choosing a third bit that can also be done in two ways if we consider task t4 then again there are two ways 
and similarly for every bit there are two ways for its selection either 0 or 1 so we have number of ways or per of performing this seven task and uh, we can consider this as n1 n2 n3 up to n7 so by product rule uh, we have to multiply all this n1 n2 up to n7 our task is to make a bit string of length 7 so we are asked to find out the number of different bit strings of length 7 that can be constructed in this way so that will be the product of 2 7 times so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 task and uh, we can see this is going to be 2 raised to 7 that is 120 8. So, there are 128 different bit strings of length 7 are possible. So, this is simple example of this extended version of product rule. So, we have to write systematically how many bit strings are there of length 7. So, here I have shown this uh, string of length 7 and here I have written two choices for each bit then we have to write all these details since the length of string is 7 we have to choose 7 bits that is we are dividing our procedure into 7 different tasks each task is to select each bit then I have written that we know that each bit can be either 0 or 1 therefore there are 2 choices for each of the 7 bits that is 2 for here all the bits can be selected into 2 ways so therefore by product rule there are 2 into 2 into 2 7 times that is 2 raised to 7 equal to 120 is 128 bit strings of length 7 so this is simple example of extended version of product rule so in upcoming lectures we will discuss more problems related to counting so i hope you like this thank you